All right, so here's a progress update. This is my work area that I have uh, claimed for myself in our downstairs basement. So, um, and I, yeah, I know it looks like a mess right now, but I actually think better with everything in total chaos. So, today I've been working on uh, the sound to light um, audio system, and once that was up and running, I've also worked on getting it to communicate with the PlayStation controller as well. So this is just a progress video. I wanted to show you guys what's going on here. Um, basically, the Arduino communicates with the sound chip through a voltage-divided transistor relay, just for safety. Um, and the sound chip sends the sounds that I've got on there already through an amp and back through another circuit with another transistor which puts out audio and light as if Wheatley is talking. Um, in my previous Wheatley project I had a um, sound to light kit that I had bought from Fry's Electronics. It worked very well, but the biggest problem was that it used a microphone to pick up the sound, and because of that it picked up a lot of different noise around it as well. The good thing about this that I found through my research on the internet is by using a certain type of transistor, um, TIP31C, I think. Uh, I'll verify that in the parts list when the project's done. But by using that, it produces the exact same effect without having to um, have a microphone. So now this is a closed loop audio system, no out, yeah, no external interference whatsoever. So let me just give you a demonstration here. Come over to the PlayStation controller and turn it on. Let's just watch it connect. Okay, and blinking on the Arduino means it's connected. It's solid here. And now all I have to do is push a button. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a while longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. So yeah, that's it works perfectly. Um, I'm really happy with the circuits that I've made here. Still working on consolidating all the wiring. As you can see, there's a bunch of wires everywhere. But I'm also really pleased with the soundboard that I'm using, too. It's from Adafruit. It's their 16 megabyte um, audio FX soundboard. And because it has 16 megabytes of storage, this iteration of Wheatley will have 31 unique voice clips. I'm pleased to announce that. Um, and it, it, it's phenomenal. Just the organization system is so easy and simple to use, but it also provides a lot of versatility, too. By pushing the same button, I can have multiple sound clips play. I'll push the same button again here. So yeah, that's that's how it works. I'm super happy about it. Another fun thing about this is you just push the button and it turns it off. Save battery. Um, so yeah, I am really, really stoked. This project's coming along a lot better than I thought it would. Um, and just for clarification too, I am working to get it all running off of two different rechargeable batteries that I've ordered. So... There are a few 9-volt batteries, and you see the pack of AA's over there as well. Those are just test batteries. Uh, once all the wiring is complete and consolidated, it will run off of the two rechargeable. So, Alright, so that's progress on Wheatley 2.0, and this is Luke signing out. Thanks for watching.